Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. As promised in my previous video uh, on the road to King of Game, which I attained King of Game with a uh, deck with some tweet. Remember to check the video, uh, I will leave a tech box at the end of this video. So go take a look at the video, give a like. And as mentioned, I will be showing you some special deck by Bonds. So basically, Bonds just came up like a week ago and there is some cool cards in it which feature zombie war and a drop skill posthumous army so i had i think i have a video about zombie war using earbub to use this effect do check take a look at the video as well but we are more talk we are more about talking in this drop skill posthumous army so let's take a look on this drop skill so basically, uh, this posthumous army can be used each time your life point decreased by 2000. The monster in both player graveyard becomes zombie type monster. So it is another version of zombie war, but it's just uh, able to use once a turn. Uh, I mean, whenever your life point decreased by 2000, which uh, in my deck I only can use once per turn, per, per duel. So without further ado, let's go through the deck list. I have 3 Gonzuki to mill up uh, some zombie in the graveyard, 3 Red Eye Zombie Dragon. Because of its effect that if I destroy a zombie type monster by battle and send it to graveyard, I can special summon that monster to my side. So with the help of Zombie World, opponent monster becomes zombie. With Posthumous Army, opponent monster becomes zombie. So is zombie army's overthrow we are talking about here. Samurai Skull just for viability and you know just throw zombie to the graveyard. Bacon Saber just to save you for at an attack. I have two Cosmic Cyclone and this is the pretty much the core tech card. So this card allows me to pay 1000 life point then target one spell trap on the field banish it without having it activate any effect. So pay 1000 of this, pay 1000 of this is 2000 and I can activate posthumous army with no back row and I can go for the easy swing and convert it to be my zombie so zombie were in the earlier description one ray eye inside two enemy controllers just to flip your opponent in defense position for ray eye zombie dragon to have an easier swing two mirror wall and a one wall of disruption to give you some Defensive measure, counter attack measure, as we all know that with the beat down, Rise Zombie attack is 2400. And against the Kini, uh, Red Dragon, and other higher attack monster, you can't really over swing them. So that is one of the uh, negative side of this deck. But I do enjoy a huge success in the PvP crown and in the King of Game ranking uh, matchup. So kindly leave your comments down below on what other decks you will introduce to this deck what are the cards to make it more viable and not to mention mirror wall if I pay it for uh, another round I can pay 2000 life point so I can use posthumous army so I hope you guys like this video do drop a like and leave your comments down below for any other decks or any improvement of this card and Remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and updates. So without further ado, let's go on to the highlight. And hope you guys enjoy it and have more zombies love. It's gonna be a spooky, smoky Christmas and New Year. Bringing forward by Konami. So the first game is again Jaden Yuki in my uh, King of Game play around. So I open up with two Cosmic Cyclone, one Bacon Saber. Not that really good. So he used his Sergeant Electro attack me. I left a bit more. 2002. So I use Cosmic Cyclone, banish the back row. And I use Posthumous Army. So Samurai Scarf. I mean a Gonzuki. Because Gonzuki's special effect is that if it's in graveyard, I can banish one zombie monster and special summon a zombie monster in my hand. So I banish Bacon Saber and I just activate Zombie World just for the troll. I have a pretty good hand. I go for the swing, destroy this guy and he become my zombie slave. 
and going for the easy knockout, I have 3 monsters and he just surrender. This is the power of the zombie overthrow. Easy peasy like a cheesy head. This game is against a ninja deck but I'm very sorry that I put a toga off so you can't see Brad Ninja become my slave. But I mean if you know this game, you know that it's supposed to happen that way. Just that I pressed toga off because I was kind of impatient about that. So I apologize but it's still a good win against a tier 1 deck. So I knowing that this is a Crimson Ninja, I did not want to set my Red Eye Spirit. This is Swan, a uh, thing that you can learn from experience. So I just use Red Eye inside just to me up uh, Red Eye Zombie Dragon and get Spirit on my hand and go for the attack. Crimson Ninja as expected, but nothing to destroy. He give me a 3 star demotion. Go for the attack. I take the hit. Because I want to have my life point less than 2000 to use Posthumous Army. So I special summon my Red Eye Zombie. He tried to banish himself and tried to attack me again. I use Bacon Saber to block this attack. And now uh, I set out my Red Eye inside Gonzuki to meal up Red Eye Zombie in the graveyard. So now I'm just waiting for enemy controller, which I got it. So you Samurai Scout, me up more cards. He's just afraid to destroy me because of these two back row. So Red Dragon Ninja, he can take my Red Eye Spirit on the top of the deck. Don't be good about it. He attacked me, I still left 200 life points before I can use Posthumous Army. So I'm, I'm just basically waiting here. He used Transformation to get out Red Dragon Ninja. And he trying to hit me again. And he and now I can use Posthumous Army, but I have Toga off because I'm just a tilter. So he tried to banish, tried to give me a knockout punch. I have no more monster. And let's see, Ray Eye Spirit, the zombie overthrow with Posthumous Army. I go in for the attack. I enemy controller, turn into defense, but my Toga was off. So that's why. This uh, Black Dragon Ninja did not become my slave and he surrendered. So this is a win against a tier 1 deck. As you can see is how viable this, this deck is. I just need some more ex experiment to see how I can buff up a Red Eye Zombie attack with this gear. And most likely this can be a tier 1 tier 2 deck usually. As you have so much slave around zombie slave like the walking dead don't say I didn't tell you so it's against a samurai deck and I don't have much uh, I have a pretty decent card red eye zombie dragon to the grave I should do bacon to be honest which I did here scout samurai set up all my defensive card just to protect my back row and he is going for OTK he used mirror ball to destroy me I'm not sure what happened here to be honest I thought Sanji because I think it's because when I effect that 6 samurai monster with different name to activate his resort and great shogun shield is not a 6 samurai so let me spray on him he tried to attack me to destroy my red eye zombie but you know just sucks to be him and I got Zuki, Bacon Saber and use Gonzuki. I'm trying to go for the attack because I want to enemy controller him but he has a power free buff and my red eye zombie is out enemy control him take and going for the zombie overthrow easy peasy like a cheesy hazy you see how this uh, deck can overturn so easily at turn 3 he has 3 hero on 3 monster on the front line and turn 4 I have 3 and he has none. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck and this video do drop a like and remember to subscribe me for more. So just 2 more replay I will be showing ghost trick deck uh, tomorrow so be sure to stay on it. I have most of the cards ready so I, I just need to try to play around to see how I can make it viable. So Bacon Saber set, Red Eye Spirit and Enemy Controller 
to grossy 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 card so using samurai skull meal up oh is a meal deck okay i have zombie world now samurai skull mirror wall but i have to throw out zombie world so sad so red eye zombie turn up so it's a ghost tree deck okay but it's a pretty easy otk i use cosmic cyclone attack attack and gg well played this is one of a better version of Red Eye Zombie, I guess. Leave your comments down below. Will you prefer to play this or the normal boring bit down Red Eye Zombie deck? Honestly, I prefer this. This is a bit more fun. So this is a mirror matchup, a bonds against bonds. But it's definitely me who have the last laugh. Straight to the grave, buffing up my zombie. So Call of the Mummy allows him to have multiple heroes on the front line with Gonzuki, Red Ice Zombie Dragon. I was like, okay, now it's my turn. Samurai Scar. Bacon Saber to the field, but I have back row. So Gonzuki, me out Samurai Scar. Skull. So he anti magic arrow me, but too bad. I have Bacon Saber. So he wasted anti magic arrow, in my opinion. Samurai Skull, Mia Gonzuki, now is my turn. Red Eye Zombie Dragon. For the attack, we call for a slap mate. He used Storm, I was surprised. And I have no choice but to have everything destroyed and go for a suicide move against me. I have one more monster here. Red Eye Spirit, <laughs> Samurai Skull, Mia more Red Eye Zombie, go for the open fear attack. And now my turn for the easy knockout bash. Easy peasy like a cheesy. No, he bacon saber me. Give me a rejection. But he just surrender. He has no back row. So which means his deck is not viable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do drop a like, leave a comment down below. And follow me on my Facebook and subscribe to this channel for more updates and uploads. I hope you're still having a good Christmas season, Christmas period. And I wish you all the best, have a good day, good afternoon, good night, signing off and peace.